Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope and Coffee and I have found these really cute double walled, um, handleless, like, well, I guess they could be any kind of like double walled drinkware, but I really like putting my coffee in it. I just recently picked them up from, I think it was Home Goods, and honestly I thought they were so pretty, so I, um, had to use those today. Now today I am coming at you with absolutely no makeup whatsoever on. So this is my completely bare face minus some eyelash extensions that I redid like two days ago. And I toned my hair, but I kind of did it in slightly darker tone because I wanted it to be a little bit more, um, I guess I wanted it to be just slightly darker for the fall. Uh, usually in the summer and spring, I'll sometimes do it more of a whitish blonde, but I thought for the fall and going into that, that I would bring it down just a little bit. I didn't think it needed to be so bright and so white, so I thought this would be a really great shade. Um, I think it's more of like a sand tone without too, I mean, there's a little bit of warmth in it, but not a ton. Um, there's still a good, like a good amount of coolness that works well with my blue eyes and I really like it. I also gave myself a haircut. I, um, wanted a haircut the other day and was calling around a couple places. My friend gave me her place and people were giving me some different, um, schedules, but Unlike tattoos, which I will wait for and plan for when I want a haircut, I want a haircut pretty much within the day or two of wanting it. And I already had my inspiration picture of what I wanted. And it was not far off from what I already had. I just really wanted to bring it all even to a pretty much a chin length bob. So that's pretty much what I've given myself. Um, and I think it turned out pretty cute. I am pretty darn happy with it. I'm loving it for, I think it's perfect for the fall. So I'm very, very excited about how it has turned out. Um, but today's episode is not in fact about hair or any of that or coming at you completely barefaced. Although I really should have for the episode I did with regards to going to Paris Fashion Week with no makeup because this is me if I were going to Paris Fashion Week with no makeup. Uh, <laughs> this is about books that I would love to read again. So my podcast and I are going through and finding fan favorites of books that have come out in the past year or two that were big blockbuster hits and maybe only one of us read it. And so we are going through and we are reading them together as a book club and starting to talk about them. Now we're doing a couple of books that are also new. Uh, and this week we are releasing one for After the Forest by Kel Woods. And I do have an episode for that as well um, here on this channel. But please check out our podcast for that. But next week, we'll be releasing a podcast episode for A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, which is um, what my friend Hannah calls her introduction to Garbaggio. And that's just what she calls it um, because she loves like fantasy romance. And so there's a lot of fantasy. There's a lot of romance. Um... But that's just what she refers to it as. And um, we are thinking about starting a book club here in Huntsville, possibly, for anyone who wants to join and talk about books. So this is a books that I would read again, because that was something I was thinking about as a topic that I might not have spoken on on this platform yet. And I was thinking, like, what books would I read again? And one of the ones that came to mind was All the Light We Cannot See by um, Anthony, I think it's Doyer, and, he, and um, he also did a book recently called Cloud Cuckoo Land, which I haven't read yet and I want to, but um, amazingly phenomenal book, left me like with chills, like I thought it was so beautifully written. It is a book that I recommend to people and it's actually one that I was talking to some people about on Friday when I, we went for sushi um, 
for books that kind of changed our lives, for books that kind of really resonated with us in the moment that we read it and something that stuck with us because it doesn't have to be like, like, I don't know, it doesn't have to be War and Peace or Anna Karenia or what have you. It can just be something that for you, like hit the mark at the right time. And for me, that was All the Light We Cannot See. Uh, another book that I would reread over and over again is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Now, I believe that is the first book of his Stormlight Archive, but I would reread all of the books of a Stormlight Archive at any time. I love the world that he is creating in that. I can't wait to get the next one. I believe it comes out next year. Um, I think I'm crossing fingers and hoping, but um, Brandon Sanderson's is one of my favorite, and, and I look forward to every book in that series. He is phenomenal. Um, another book on my will always read again list. And again, I'm not an avid rereader very frequently, but another book that I will reread pretty frequently is Fairy Tale by Stephen King. Loved that book. I thought it was really well done. Um, a surprising book that came out of Stephen King and yet it still had all of the aspects of a Stephen King book that I was looking for. Uh, Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. That is something that not only do I recommend it to people for its humor and satire, um, for its thoughts on society, but it has also been picked up by Amazon, of course, for a mini series and now has two seasons. It has been... Um, talked about for uh, like years and years and years and it's absolutely phenomenal it's been reimagined a little bit more for modern day which is great but um Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett are two of my absolute favorite authors which is why an individual book from each of them also shows up on my list so from Neil Gaiman I put Coraline and from Terry Pratchett I put Thud and there's there's a there's a part in Thud, and it's a, one of his, um, I guess, later books in the Discworld series, but it follows Commander Vime of the Night Watch, which is one of my favorite characters. So you have, like, the witches, which is kind of, like, um, main character grouping. You have the Night Watch, which is a main character grouping. You have Death, who's a main character, who, like, there's a series of books that kind of, like, focus on him. So you can kind of follow, like, different people in different little buckets of books but the night watch specifically commander vimes is in thud and there was a part that i just remembered l laughing out loud so hard and absolutely loved it uh, other books that show up on this list are the hobbit by tolkien uh, howl's moving castle by diana Wynne jones the book thief by mark zusick um, stormfront by jim butcher and I think I just wanted to leave it at my top 10 because I really could have gotten carried away um, and could have probably added quite a bit more, even though I'm not the biggest rereader of a lot of different books. Like a book really has to resonate with me for a lot of different reasons. Kevin Hearn and his Hounded series, or actually his Iron Druid series, Hounded being the first of that series, is one that I love. Also follows in the same vein of Stormfront by Jim Butcher. It just has that appeal to me that I really enjoy. And um, there's just a couple others like that I could also add to this list. But then, of course, I think this list get, would get really clunky. And I wanted to keep it so that way I could do maybe my top 10-ish. So I don't know what you thought, but I just kind of thought this was kind of a fun episode. Uh, if you've stuck around this far, thank you so much. Leave a comment down below if you have a favorite that you go to and reread all the time. doesn't have to be a classic. It can just be something that's a favorite for you. And um, I would love to know what's on your always read list. Like what is something that you recommend to people? And um, recommend it to me. And maybe I have or haven't read it and I'd love to have a conversation about it. So until next time, I'll see you on the next page. Have a great one.